Hey everyone, here's a question. Sum of three consecutive number is 36. Find the numbers. So sum of three consecutive numbers means what do we mean by consecutive? When the number come one after the other, they call consecutive. Means there should be no gap between numbers. For example, let us take 5, 6, 7. So you can see 5, 6 and 7 are consecutive here because there's no gap between the numbers. They, look, they are just one after the other. If I take example like 10, 12, and 14. So this number not consecutive but you can see that this gap between the numbers right. After 10 there is 11 which I have not written. After 12 we have 13 which is not I have not written. So there is a gap between the numbers then this set is not a consecutive. There should not be a gap between the numbers and we can say that these are called consecutive numbers. So here they are saying that when you add three consecutive numbers we don't know what are those three numbers. When you add those three numbers for example if I add four 5 and 6 like that. So 4, 5, 6 are consecutive na? the same way. So when you add this 3 consecutive number, the sum is 36. We have to find the numbers. Since we don't know the numbers here, we have to assume a variable. So how to do this? So to understand this better, I am going to take example here. Let us take 1, 2 and 3 because 1, 2, 3 are consecutive. You can take any number. I am just taking small numbers to explain you. Now we don't know the first number, I'm going to assume a variable here. Let's assume that my first consecutive number is x. Okay. Now from 1 to 2, how much I should add to get 2 here? I have to add 1 to get the next number. right? Similarly to this x, I should add 1 to get my next consecutive number. So x plus 1 will be x plus 1. Okay. Now from 2, how much I should add to get 3? I have to add again 1 to this. So here also to get the next consecutive number, I'm going to add 1 to this. So x plus 1 and then plus 1 again. So I'm adding a 1 to the, my previous number to get the next number. Now x plus 1 plus 1 will become x plus 2. So here x, x plus 1, x plus 2 will be 3 consecutive numbers. Now we are assuming this numbers. Using this, we're going to find an equation and we're going to find out the numbers here. So let's write down here. Let three consecutive numbers be three consecutive numbers b x then x plus 1 the next one is x plus 2 now we're going to form an equation they're saying that sum of this three consecutive number is 36 sum means addition we're going to add all these three numbers so first number is x plus the second number is x plus 1 then plus the third number is x plus 2 is equal to 36. Now we got an equation here. Here we have to get the value of x. So add all the variables. So x plus x plus x. We are adding a 3 here, right? So it will become 3x. Then plus add the numbers 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. So 3x plus 3 is equal to 36. Now we are going to bring all the constants to one side. So transpose this 3 to the other side of the equation. So this will become... 3x is equal to 36 minus 3 which will be 33. So 3x is equal to 33. Now here we want only the x value. We don't want 3 here. So I'm going to transpose 3 to the other side. You can see that 3 is under multiplication. When you transpose it goes to division. So we'll get here x is equal to 33 divided by 3. Cancel them. 3 ones are 3 11 are 33. So therefore we got x value here. Therefore x is equal to 11. So the first number we got here is 11. The second number will be that is x plus 1 will be 11 plus 1 which is 12. So second number is 12. The next number is x plus 2. So 11 plus 2 is equal to 13. So you can see that 11, 12 and 13 are three consecutive numbers and to verify the number it's not required but if you want to just check your answer you can add them. So 11 plus 12 plus 13 when you do we will get 36 here can add and try. We have given the question that sum of three consecutive numbers is 36. So 11, 12, 13 and you add, you will get 36 here. So like that you can check your answer. So this is not required. I am just showing you if, uh, if in case you have a doubt, you can check in this way. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any question or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.